I don't know. It's one of my most common answers when somebody asks me for a solution. And many people think that you have to act like you know all the solutions. And for, for a lot of people, it's actually pretending that they know all of the solutions. And very often I use the phrase, I don't know, followed by, but I'll find out. That's one thing. The other thing is, and that's what, what's the topic for today is because we're changing um, from a regular shift to this four on four off shift. And that's not like a hard change that just happens and you just miraculously have a second shift ready and then you just go like, boom, there's the change. But it's a gradual process where you are still in the regular shift and then there are some people that might not want to work a four on four off. Some people actually can't wait to work a four on four off. So there will be people transitioning out and there will be people transitioning in. And I had two conversations uh, today with people that actually don't want to work in the four on four off, but they are currently working there. And they are very long term loyal and very good employees. So we're definitely going to make sure we'll find a different thing to do for them in the company because we're always looking for good people and let's be frank good people find good people is really really hard so we are making all the efforts we can to keep the ones that we're having now is uh, uh, the questions that basically came uh, today up today in those discussions was okay when are we going to switch what does that mean how is it going to work and my answer to that was i don't know and I told them, it's like, look, I give you all the information that I have. This is a total transparent process, but I can't give you a date of time because there are so many different variables in the air, which I cannot like specifically say that this or that is going to happen. And especially not on one particular date, because I told them, it's like, what I don't want to do is I don't want to lie to you and say, it's like, okay, it's going to happen at the end of the month. And then I'm going to come like a week before or two days before and say, yeah, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a week later. It's like, I'm going to give you indication. I'm going to share the information I have and we're going to go through that. And the only thing I can promise you is there is going to be a place for you in the company, no matter if you want to work on that for on, for off, or you cannot work on it, or you don't want to work on it. Because we have plenty of people that stay on the, on the regular shift, but we need to increase the capacity in that thing. So that's how we're going to do it. And that was actually very well preserved. But I also got a lot of questions when I when I came out of those meetings and people looked at me and, and what one said is like, Oh, you're still alive. And I'm like, well, it was an easy meeting. And it, it really was for me an easy meeting because as I'm honest, I tell them what the what the process is, there is full transparency in order to combat any rumors or whatever thinking uh, goes on. And this is uh, when people, uncertainty creates doubt and creates fear. So I want to get rid of the uncertainty as much as I can. And I can't eliminate it because I could only eliminate it if I could tell them it's, it's going to go like this, like this and like this. And then by that date, this is where you're going to work from that point onwards. And this is how it's going to go. But since I can't, the only thing that I can is I can try and minimize that uncertainty. And I don't know is a phrase that I found over the decade in, uh, in different leadership roles is a very, very powerful phrase because people looking towards orientation. So you as a leader have to provide that vision, that orientation, that is one thing. But the other thing, they are always constantly judging you if you're trustworthy, if you do what you say, can you deliver, are you, uh, are you honest or as I, are you trying to um, have a hidden agenda? So the best thing to do that is deal with it straight and out in the open and share and share information and people will make up their own stories sometimes anyway. No matter if they have all the information or they don't have all the information, they might misunderstand you. They might not have heard what you said because in, in meetings like that, there is always a little bit of emotions also at play. So that means it's like they definitely 
feel like okay i don't like i don't know so what does i don't know mean so you cannot just say i don't know and then disappear that wouldn't work you have to use i don't know and then either and i follow up or you have to explain why you don't know the answer to that question and surprisingly if if you try that it, it it takes a lot of courage in yourself if you do that the first time and it feels really strange because normally as like it's it's the same for me people ask me a question and they expect i give them an answer which leads them either to a solution or i suggest a solution but telling them honestly that you don't know something um also opens uh, opens you up to vulnerability because it's like oh the um the owner of the company doesn't know everything um maybe uh maybe we know more than than he does and so on but it also opens this possibility about ha- and that's the other hand it opens the possibility to have those discussions on things where the people that work on different parts of the manufacturing process will always have more knowledge than the owner does very few owners know more than all the all the workers so it's like it's a like mostly in very small companies the bigger the company are uh, gets the less you as the owner will know every little detail about how to do a job and if you know every little detail you you are trapped and that that's something for you as an owner if you watch that video and you can do every single job in your company perfectly and better as any other employee then either the company is in the beginning and very small or you hit a ceiling and can't grow beyond that because you are not like managing the organization but you are too close to the actual operations so with that um yeah just sometimes use the word i don't know and then try to find out what the actual thing is and it also as i said i use that today and it instills trust because people see that you are that you are open that you explain why you don't know and that you are not making something up uh, just to pretend you know the answer and believe me or not it, uh, you must be a very very good liar that people don't figure out when you pretend to know the answer most people have a very good feeling uh, some better than others some will really really can really tell immediately and others just have this strange feeling and maybe you sometimes have that too and i sometimes have that too where you think like hmm something does not seem right so it's de- for me it's definitely the the best thing and the best thing to use is sometimes just to say i don't know and you would be you will also be surprised how often when you say i, I don't know but do you have an idea how to solve it that a lot of people actually have ideas on how to fix that problem they maybe just wanted to see what you think about it or they uh, wanted to have an easy solution from you so use that phrase use it carefully but don't shy away from using it cheers guys see you